what you're seeing on screen is the main menu for Soul Calibur 3 on the PS2. I'll tell you guys all about the lore, at least as far as I know it. I'll tell you the lore as far as, you know, Southern California, the history from my perspective of this game. But let me <laughs> let me just you. warn you that this is you know how I say, oh, mathematically, like someone will be like, someone in the chat room will say, oh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is the best one. And then I'll say some shit about how, if you look at it mathematically, Metal Gear is the, Metal Gear 3 is the worst one, right? That is a, that's just me trying to get that guy riled up, right? But when I say Soul Calibur 3 is mathematically the worst Soul Calibur, it actually really is the worst one ever. This Soul Calibur <laughs> is you. trash. It's the one <laughs> that is, you. you know, all other Soul Caliburs, it's like, uh, okay, this is top tier, or this is a problem, or maybe this character is overpowered, or whatever. But all those things are secondary to the game actually coming from the store and working the way it's supposed to work. This game doesn't work at all the way it's supposed to work, and I'll show you why that's such a disaster. <laughs> Thank you. It ends up being such a piece of shit. This game is so bad. Now, the funny thing is, they actually <laughs> added you. so much single-player content to this game that scrubs, like random everyday schmohawks that went to GameStop, those people, a lot of people love this game because they're like, oh, you know, I loved Chronicles of the Sword mode and Tales of the Souls and character creation. That was something they added in this game. So some people were like, this is the best Soul Calibur ever. And those people, you know, just were ill-informed or they're looking at it from a perspective that is totally different from me, right? I'm looking at the game from a tournament player who enjoyed Soul Calibur 2 on a competitive level. So this game, first of all, it was a huge, huge turning point in the series. So if you go back, there are there's one Soul Edge, right? And then they, the turning point in the series was Soul Calibur where they added 8-way run. So in Soul Edge, to sidestep, you tap either down or down up to go right or left on the one player side. Then they switched the name, called it Soul Calibur, and you got an 8-way run. 8-way run means you hold the stick in any of the directions and your character is going to start moving in that direction, right? So eight-way run. That's Soul Calibur 1. This is like, we've changed the history of this franchise. Soul Calibur 1. Then they refined Soul Calibur 1 and you could really feel it because I just recently went back to Soul Calibur 1, tried it after, I haven't played that game since I was a kid. But when you play part one, it really feels like part two, but just not refined. A little bit rough around the edges. Part two really felt refined. Ugh. Excuse me. Of course, not perfect, right? Lots of flaws in part two, but it definitely felt refined, right? Now, something that I have to mention about Soul Edge, Soul Calibur, and Soul Calibur 2 is that these games followed the traditional Namco um, development process that they still use to this day for Tekken, right? So what is that process? They come out with an arcade game. The arcade game itself has a few revisions, version one, two, three, four, whatever. Then they come out with a console version, which is like the final product, but and then that's the game we get. Old man Aris on his high horse rehashing some butt hash. Give me Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Brew. Butt hash. Jack Marvel Marvel Infinite. Is. I heard this Maximilian said like it's dead. That's all we were waiting for, huh? Now that Max has said it, <laughs> it's you. over.
Marvel's dead. Tragedy. <sighs> hey, what's up, May? How's it going? Super Savvy, Ide Garrison, Dastardly Duck. Thanks. And Chaotic Magic Carp, Sephiroth, and Camaro SS. Lubed up pickle. Thanks, guys. Isargs, Get Wrecked and Erect, <laughs> and Heber 98. And also Brian Kun. Coon, whatever. Thanks, guys. Hey, where was I before I was rudely interrupted? I need a. Uh, I need a. Uh, you know, can you jog my memories or what? Mm. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Okay, so the arcade version came out. Yes. It's very similar to what they do now. Uh. Soul Calibur 2 was the first time I really knew about the inner workings. Let me tell you how Soul Calibur 2's life went, right? It came out in the arcades as version A, right? Soul Calibur 2 version A was fucked up. It had infinites. You know Mr. Wizard, our beloved butt hash dealer? Mr. Wizard, he used to play Cassandra in Soul Calibur 2. And in the first version of the arcade version of Soul Calibur 2, Cassandra, she had a move, back, back, A. And if you held that shit down, hold it down, it gave you like plus 35. Plus 35 on hit. And guess what? It only took like 34 frames to hit the move itself. So if you do some quick math, right, it's an infinite. Of course it's an infinite. This motherfucker would, and I used to tell him, do it, do it, bitch. I would, we, I'd get up to the front of the machine and I'd be like, go ahead, man, do it. He'd say, I'm not gonna do it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do the infinite. You think I give a shit about the infinite? Do the infinite. He would do the infinite on me. It shit was so fucking cheap. Dude, I waited in line. And, I mean, I wanted him to do it. It was in the game. That's how you used to, like, that's the attitude you used to have, you know? It was so fucking stupid, though, because, you know, at that time, infinites were, like, cool. Iron Man had an infinite, you know? It was cool. Magneto had an infinite. But those infinites were cool infinites because you had to learn how to do them, and they were hard to do. This was like some Mr. Wizard could be huffing butt hash with one hand and fucking doing the infinite with the other. So it was ugly. Anyway, the point is that Soul Calibur 2 itself, as much as I say I love it, it started out as a piece of shit. And even back then, without the internet and without any kind of ability to download a patch, they had versions of the game. Version A, B, C, D, right? Different versions. How did they have versions of the game if they didn't have the internet connected? Well, guess what? Back then, they used to send a fucking Namcop one by one to every single Aladdin's Castle and Tilt and every fucking arcade in the entire country of the United States with a disc. And he would go to the arcade and say, hey, I'm here from Namco. I brought version B. They'd be like, you brought version B? Boom, let's do it. Literally, that's how they did it. That's a crazy job. It's true, that's how it was done. Version D was the final version of Soul Calibur 2, right? Not final, final arcade version, right? They patched out the infinites, refined a few things, Taki used to ring out from full screen, whatever, whatever. So, console version ended up being the final, final version with all the tweaks, extra characters, console version on the PS2. Final version of that game. But, the thing to remember here, allow me to uh, wet my palate. Also gives me a moment to recollect. This time was so important because the next game, Soul Calibur 3, 
it came straight to console. It was the first Soul Calibur, first Soul Edge, first Tekken. It's not a Tekken game, but it's like a sister game to Tekken, or at least was at some point. Straight to console. So you know how straight to DVD works? It's not good, right? You know, you have a, your favorite movie, it's like, uh, whatever. You know, Three Ninjas, right? Three Ninjas the movie, I loved that movie. That movie was sick when I was a kid. And then all of a sudden, Three Ninjas 2? I didn't see this in the theater. You're at Blockbuster Video, Three Ninjas 2? This is Three Ninjas 2. It went straight to DVD, VHS. It went straight to VHS. And I'll show you why that's a big problem. That, that process that I was talking about with the Namcop refining the product, that never happened. This game, and I haven't even tried this yet, so I'm really like hyping it up. I'm hoping it works. But this game has some crazy issues, and I'm gonna try it out right now. Practice. Yeah, I haven't no seen this in it. ages. Tutorial? Tekken 7 doesn't even have this. Hey, Thaw, and Eyed Garrison. Thanks. Aris makes Ken Burns look like Morgan Spurlock. Excuse me. Who is Ken Burns? And who is Morgan Spurlock? That sounds familiar. Light punch. Morgan Spurlock? Isn't that the guy from Super Size Me? Is that Morgan Spurlock? Uh, anyway, C. Cruisin, Brian, Real Maiko, and Thoth, and Iron Man, and also I'd Garrison. Here, here. Thanks, guys. Mm. Free training. This should be interesting. Once again, unlockable characters. Zazmasol! Dude, oh my god. This is the first game he was ever in. They invented him for this game. So this game had a few new characters. Zazmasol is one of them. Tira is another new character for this game. Damn, look at the boob jiggle. Bagoosh. They blast onto the screen. Damn, they all do. This is a new character too, Setsuka. I think there's also, isn't there another new character or something? I don't remember. There are a lot of unlockable characters as you can tell. And one of these unlockable characters is like a slot that has like 10 or 15 more characters in it. And they're kind of like pre-created characters with unique and shitty move lists. It's pretty peculiar. But keep in mind, now, doesn't, I, I don't know about you guys, but you're, you should be if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, uh, at least a little bit familiar with Soul Calibur 2. It's my favorite game uh, as far as Soul Calibur game. And if you notice, look at, notice the, the lazy eye on Sung Mina right here. Can you see how her right eye is looking directly at the cameraman? But that left eye, are you noticing the left eye? The whole game kind of has a lazy eye. The entire game, it's kind of like Sung Mina. It looks good, but you just can't do anything about that lazy eye. So let's go with the character, like, let's go with Boludo. He's my boy. Will you Widescreen in the options? Is that a thing? How do I get out of here? Return to title. Really? Gormless in Seattle and KF91. Thanks, guys. Oh, and also, let's watch the intro movie, right? Let's get really turned. Because one thing I can say about this game, I'm talking a lot of shit about it, but this game's intro is fucking crazy. It's going to win a BET award, guaranteed. Well, let's watch the intro. How do you watch it? Can you just watch it? How do you watch it? Let me see what this guy's talking about. Display settings, screen ratio. 16 by nine. Is that what you want? Did that do anything? Six by nine. 
Okay, whatever. I need to change the emulator settings too. Fuck, you guys are really giving me um, homework here. I think it looks shitty now. What'd you do? Yeah, fuck that. I'm out of here. I'm changing it back. Hey, nice idea, generous moron. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How do we watch the intro? I want to get turned up with that. Uh, shop? Oh, I think we probably just leave it on demo mode. Yeah, I want to show the intro. You guys are going to look. Who the hell are you? Buy weapons. See, this is the shit that everyone loved about this game, but I'm over here hating it because it was really, you know, that's all you can like about this. This game, I mean, the only thing that's good about it is this fluff because it was the first one that had it. So I think to watch the intro, we just leave it here and it'll show it right here. The intro's good. I haven't seen it either. I mean, I've seen it, but not for a long time. This should be it. All right, get turned up. <laughs> yeah, no, you. this ain't it. This is a match. Oh, I think I, if I push start, one of them Soul will be it, Calibur right? Three. Hey, Mad Worlder and Goosh Phase. Thanks for those uh, subscriptions, will ya? All right, be cool. What the fuck? Is it artwork or some shit? Whoa. Oh, this is like a... Like a choreographed thing. I haven't seen this either. Excuse me. Hmm? Baby eyes? Damn, this is some Jackie Chan shit. Samuel Hung. That's it? I was just getting into Nemco. it. Uh oh, you guys are making me sneeze again. Is this it? I think this could be it. <laughs> Thank you. Nope, never mind. Don't get too hyped. I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> Oh, I think this is it. This one looks like it's got to be it. Hey, Trippin' Hobbit. Hey, be careful with that name. The Lord of the Rings cops could break your hands like the other Hobbit. Anyway, thanks for that uh, subscription. This <laughs> Thank is it. You. I hope. <laughs> THX? Hey, Macto. Thanks for the resub. Hey, Azure Doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Simple A. Thanks. Yeah. This is gonna be good. Be cool. <laughs> Thank you. But hash, Jack Miller, Fox Shh. 30 News. Oh, thanks for the sound, Jack. Thanks, Hook Fist. Shh. I haven't seen this in ages. Thanks, man. I don't remember this at all. That's some Lord of the Rings shit. Did this come out before that? Be cool. Zasmusol. He's just kicking everyone's ass. Nipples. Nipples. 
Samo hung. <laughs> Introducing the new characters. Oh shit, she's got a bird. Oh damn, Setsuka. She a hoe. Damn, Mitsurugi? He's like a John. This is a sick intro, dude. The two sisters? Oh boy. Mother and daughter? I mean, mother and, uh, I mean, daughter and, uh, son? Son and daughter and uh, father? Daughter and father? <laughs> Man, it took me way too long. I was gonna say daughter and husband. Oh, look! These two are enemies, too. In the lore. Look at this shit! Oh, that is so sick. They fight against each other. This is all st still the fucking intro. Can you believe that? Damn! We're still watching this shit. It's a mad hype, dude. <laughs> That's Zazmusol. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit. The mummy returns, the scorpion king. I don't remember what Soul Calibur 4's intro was, but I know it had Darth Vader and Yoda in it. So it can't be as cool as this. Excuse me. Right? BET Awards, here I come. That was a good intro. Intro movie. Uh, the real Dinotron, and I'm Nerevar, and also Hook Fist. What up, man? Thanks for making that one a silent one. Too kind. Look at Talim, dude. This is gonna look a lot better because of the emulator. It didn't look this good. No way it looked this good. Uh, OMG, Ione, and Applesauce, uh, Dinotron, Tomorrow, and Dia Mortal. Thanks, guys. Let's go to practice mode. That was Soul sick. Caliber three. Welcome okay. to the new stage of history. Of content. Mm, practice. Let's pick Valdo. This game has, it just screams ugly to me. Doesn't it? I come in the name of Jesus. Repeat it after me, bitch. I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whose name you be coming in? Thanks, Reverend X. Whose name you be coming in? These costumes are weird. Look at this costume. This one's all right, right? This is default. Look at this two-player. What? That's a hammer on his head. Look at Setsuka. She's cool. She's kind of got a lazy eye thing going on, too. It's just the way they, they show eyes in this game. It's weird. Hope your weekend was big and fine, Uncle Angus. Hey, Dark Spaghetti, you know it was. You know it was. Thanks, man. I'm doing great. I'm chilling. Let's pick Valdo and tinker around. Um, who, let's, something nice to look at, right? How about Taki? Ooh, this is a weird costume. Yeah, let's go with the classic. <laughs> I know you, you guys like Taki. <laughs> How about a Thank cool you. stage? Um. Ooh, this one looks all right. Versus Taki. Battle. <laughs> Fight. Wow. Let's 
look at that. So first thing you notice is that the characters are smaller than they are in 2, right? On screen, they don't occupy as much space as they did in Soul Calibur 1 and 2. Uh, and it might be due to how far the camera pans out, but that's one of the things that I, I definitely felt. Now, the game overall, you know, before we can even get to what's good and what sucks, I have to just say the, the issue. Hey, Eris. Lost a close friend a couple of days ago when your streams and videos have been helping me keep my head up. Hey, let me read the rest of that. Uh, all you said is thanks. Hey, all right. Thanks very much, Yik Wee. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, be cool. But mm, what was I talking about? Hey, Sauce. Thanks for that silent five. Now you're talking. Hey, everybody be cool. Keep it together. Uh, AGDQ, I know, I know. Uh, hey man, thanks very much. Be cool, keep it together, compose your shit, harness your Quan, uh, and you know, keep in mind there are 3,000 people here. Alright, let's just keep that in mind. You could have just said thanks for what you do. All, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, thanks very much. When I say thanks very much, I don't tell you a bunch of other personal stuff. You know what I mean? Just saying. Good luck. Torsak18 and Jovi CV. And also Joaquin Venex. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. But hash. Jack Miller fucking. And Lukewarm Holiday. Slippy money. Thanks, Lukewarm Holiday. And Geo Gotti. Thanks very much. Everybody, be cool. <laughs> you guys are being dicks. Alright? Keep it together. be next all right what was I talking about see that's the issue oh yeah okay so how do we get her to do it we got to get her to GI me I'm gonna show you guys why this game sucks so you guys know about the GI system in Soul Calibur now I don't have to tell you the details about uh, the, the way it's supposed to work in this game but as long as you know the principle of the system is I'm gonna have this guy attack. First action. Uh, how can we do that? Can't you attack? Where's attack? It must be stand. No. Can you have him attack? But hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Lost my friend to bunhole thrombosis. Your stream is. I saw that shit coming two miles away. Nobody gives a fuck about your imaginary friend. How's it going, Aaron Oreo? Thanks for the five bucks. Kittens and lasagna. Fucking predictable ass. Uh, low tier jokes. Happy Big Sunday. Deep bunghole thrombosis is a killer. You're laughing, but the moral of the story is you gotta get up and stretch. Alright? Get up and stretch, or you're gonna have the same issue as this guy's uh, imaginary friend. You know that? Hey, what the fuck? No pants, I gotta tell you, you gotta cut this shit out, dude. But hash. Exactly Why are you texting me during a stream? No pants, don't do that. Can you set the game to 16 by 9? What the fuck? What is this? Sending me dick pics midstream? What the fuck is this, dude? Are you trying to distract me? I don't even remember what I was trying to talk about. Waffle and dingoes. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. And fatal error. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Good shit. Ah, and thanks. How do you get this guy to attack? Can you? Freestyle settings. Training type versus CPU controller. Record enemy. All right, that'll work, I guess, since I don't know how to get this guy to attack. Uh, excuse me. Record. Okay. But hash. Jack Miller. Stop the recording. Days. I was a tester on SC3 and I reported that the game still had step guard from the E3 build. But when they fixed it, they introduced variable cancel. 
Hey, yeah, cool. My dad works for Nintendo, and he told me that Mario's favorite color is khaki. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Mm. What I'm trying to say is who gives a shit and thanks. Uh, so, what was I getting at here? Hey, Fatal Error. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> khaki ass bitch. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. You know how earlier I was saying that the game never got an arcade version? I failed to mention that when this game came out on console, it sucked so bad that Namco decided since they can't patch the game, <laughs> there was you. no patching at the time. The PS2 had no ability to get an update for a game. So since they knew they sold a piece of shit to everybody, they were like, uh oh, maybe we could release an arcade edition of the game and then hopefully that will do well enough for us to release it on console. But the arcade edition was a total flop. Total flop. Nobody wanted it because they knew that the game was already out on console. So it was a disaster. And arcade edition of this game allegedly was a very, very good game. I never played it because it didn't even really exist. It didn't exist. It's very interesting history to this game. So it's really kind of uh, funny how, you know, things went. It was launched as a total piece of shit. Anyway, so let's stay focused, stay on target. Noob Noob 87, thanks very much, and Gayco 47. Can I just can can I just call you gay? Anyway, thanks very much. I appreciate it. You just let me know and then we'll go from there. Uh, what were we, what were we just about to talk about? Gayco? Oh yeah. So, select pro plus X. That's a guard impact. Okay, so every Soul Calibur to some degree has a guard impact. This is the way it's supposed to work. It's like a parry. This is what it looks like when you whiff it. Every character has it. It's a universal defensive tool. And the, the details on how this tool works changes from game to game. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. But the principle of the move is, uh, the principle of the concept is that you have this Thank universal you. tool that you can use defensively to steal a turn. And every character can do it, right? So, think about that. You can use this tool to steal a turn. I did a move, and now I know you're going to attack, so I can then parry your incoming attack to steal the turn. <laughs> Thank you. Stealing turns, right? So, as the other person, you can bait it out and cause the whiff, and then punish the whiffed GI. This is like a crash course into the way it's supposed to work. So as you can see here, if I have the opponent play back the B into the second B, you'll notice that I can GI it, like that. So I'm, I'm deflecting the second B and I'm getting a turn. Forget about any further details. That's all you need to know for now, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the opponent's character, instead of attacking, I'm gonna have them GI me. As though you would, like, if I was attacking you, you're using the GI, right? So, let's try it. Who's gonna GI? Guard impact, here we go. Repel, parry. These are the two different types, right? So let's do repel just for now. Repel is the one I was doing. It, like, pushes you away. Parry kind of pulls you back. Repel pushes you away. So, if I attack, she's gonna parry me. So... How exactly did it work? Let's see. I'll get it to work. Be cool. You guys might have to remind me. Hey, how do you do this shit? It's been a little... Oh, is it G22? 
Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Hey, somebody teach me how to do this shit. Hold G then 2-2. Two, two. I'm trying to remember what the command is. Call Mateo. I know there were only a few people in in the on the planet that liked this game. Was Mateo one of them? The person who set this emulator up for me, I don't know why, but it doesn't work with arcade sticks. Even if I plug it in and restart it, for some reason it doesn't pick up the arcade stick. So I'm forced to play on pad, but even on pad, I don't I don't quite remember how you trigger this shit to happen. But basically what happens is do 8822B then 22G. Oh, I have a great example of it. Here we go. Okay, so here's a move. Right? Forget the GI for now. I'll explain the property of this problem, and then while you guys explain to me how to do this, this bug, replicate it. But, change her off of GI, right? Freestyle settings, stand, normal, normal. Okay, so this move, this kick, is supposed to recover grounded, right? It existed in Soul Calibur 1 and Soul Edge, this kick, right? But if you do this kick, and then right when it hits, hold guard, down, down. It's the same bug I'm trying to replicate. He stands up. That's not supposed to happen. That's a bug. So when you do that, it gives you a guaranteed launcher. So this low, basically, it's like a huge bug that exists in this game. It's called the 2G bug. That's what they named it, 2G. It doesn't have a cool name or anything, but basically what it does is it makes it so that you can cancel out of the recovery of stuff in an unnatural way. It breaks the game to the point where characters are walking on the ceilings and everything's upside down. It's totally fucked up and broken. Broken not in the way where people are like just saying, oh, that character is broken or whatever. It's, it's more like broken in the way where if you buy something and you get home and you open it and it's defective and then you call them and you say, hey, this is broken and they say, bring it back. We'll give you your money back and replace it, you know? So this game, it doesn't work. It ruins the game. On a competitive level, you can't even have a single GI occur or else you're going to see this happen every single time every match now the, the issue hey malice you know how to replicate this shit i don't know how to do it isn't the same bug in soul Calibur 2 not at all <laughs> Thank you. there is a bug similar to it but visually it doesn't break anything like the way this it completely okay i wish i could show you this gi bug because i don't even know how to do it but once you see it you'll be like this is ugly so I'm trying to show it to you, but I just don't remember how to do it. Mm, let's see. Let's try again. Guard impact, repel. Leave this place. Use throw breaks instead, it's Leave easier. You could do it off of throw breaks too? Leave this place. Do I have to buffer first? Oh, did you see that? That was place. it right there. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, let's see here. Instead of repel, that was it. I just did it. <laughs> Basically, what happens is the you know a moment ago I explained to you what what the the way the system is supposed to work, right? If you are attacking me, I push what? your sword away I and I have advantage. But if I, I do, I'm trying very hard to figure out how to donate. Thanks for the good time, Sarans. Hey, thanks very much, Sapphire, uh, Parallax. I appreciate it, man. And Shuey, Shuey Lurbs, and Lumus, and Uyu Abev, and Big Will Willa, and Double O Snake. 
and Nagura bits. And also Daft, Nathaniel, and Gakko. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, if you do the bug, if you attack me, and I parry you, and you use this bug, my parry gets negated, and there's nothing I can do about it. So it completely breaks the huge part of the game. Plus throw breaks, too, on top of that. Let me try the throw break thing. Someone said try that. Let's try that. So what do we do? <clears throat> First action. Can you have them throw? Or maybe I can just record it, right? Style settings, record enemy. these old practice mode settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Setsuka's B plus G throw is where you really see VC. Oh, you can just do it yourself, right? How does the, the rule work? It's been such a long time. I was there a tournament for SC3. I was there a tournament for SC3. I better not read the, the um, chat room or I'm gonna get derailed. I'm trying to keep it uh, nice and simple for you stoners, but it's really impossible to keep simple because I can't even Jesus fucking do it myself. First action, parry. <laughs> Second action, Thank report. You. That's pretty crazy that you can do that. You guys know how to do this old shit, huh? Default setting. <laughs> Thank you. I really want to give you guys a good example of the 2G property in this game, but it's been such Bot a long hash. time. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Oh shit! Love me some Soul Count Zone. Nightmare for life. ATP Quan. Hey Newman. Thanks, man. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, the more I think about Soul Calibur 6, the more I think the world is ready for a new Soul Calibur. It's just that I'm really, like, hoping they do a good job. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, my favorite shit, man. Record a throw and just manually break it and buffer 2-2-G. Okay, good idea. Let's try that. Uh, record enemy. A. Stop. Was it an A throw? How the fuck does that clearly show what I'm trying to do? Am I doing it wrong? It's hold G then to two. Okay. Oh, start and select. <laughs> Why don't they put that in new game? Oh man, start and select, but you should have to hold one for like a couple seconds. Right? Start and select. Damn. Old school shit. 
I forgot that existed. Okay, okay. Uh, there must be a better example of this. Valdo's a weird character, you know? It's Maybe it's because uh, he's, a, he's a weirdo. Let's look at this character. I hope she comes back. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed for Setsuka. She's a really cool character. Let's pick Ivy. I know you perverbs like her. We'll get it to work. Mm, Strong Beans. Uh, thanks for gifting a sub. Newman, Bayou, Bayou, Faux Show, and Sapphire Parallax. Thanks, guys. Money Versus Ivy. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank Damn, you. Setsuka just sub subscribed? Thanks for subbing, Setsuka. She's a cool character. Shiho. Is this the throw? So how do you set this off? I feel like there was some parameter that you had to meet. Like, do you have to buffer the attack out of something? Oh, did you see that? That was it. That was it right there. Mm, you guys are- you got the links in the chat, huh? After the first part of B plus G throw... G then two two. Is it possible that the emulator that I'm playing on is making this less likely to happen because of settings? Because it feels like it doesn't even happen. And I remember it being pretty easy to replicate. It happens, but it doesn't seem as... Yeah, I think I could be just really rusty, obviously. It's been a long time. Man, she looks cool. She has this move called... I don't know what it's called, but we used to call it Great Umbrella. I don't know how to do it. This character basically came back in the form of um, Alpha Patroclo. That's the move. The Great Umbrella, dude. This move is so sick. Yo, hey, I know. I just dropped my cup on the ground in a secret Discord tech to help me. My dog's girlfriend ate my sandal. My mom was the mocap actor for Nightmare and recently came out of retirement to do math. Hey, shitty jokes all day and night, huh? Alright, I'm down. DMG Apollo and a chimpanzee. Thanks, guys. And MRK and Setsuka. Thanks again. Alright. GG's. I appreciate that. These shits had, like, just frames, too. She's such a cool character. I hope they bring her back. <clears throat> Anyway, so let's stay on target here. There is a bug that I'm trying to replicate. This is ridiculous. Grab while back turn, then G22, grab while back turn. How do I get back turn? Oh yeah. End of the line. How do you do that move? That's it. This tech catches into itself. So if they tech roll, it hits again. Can I make them tech roll? Roll. Backward. Does the tech roll catch into itself? You can't block if you tech. Over and over and over again. So what you have to do is you have to get hit by one on the ground, then tech. So basically you got to get hit by one, and then you got to get hit by another one, and then you can get up safely. 
If you just get up safely, you're gonna get hit by another one over and over. End of the line. Sick fucking character, dude. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Stay on target. Thank you. Uh, Jake Ware Incorporated and Donnie Draco. Thanks. Thanks very much, guys. And Lida Fee. Thank you for the entertainment. Lid AF333. Thanks. Donnie Draco, Jake Ware Incorporated. GG's. Thanks for liking my stream, everybody. <coughs> I really want to replicate this shit. But half. Uh, do a throw on their back, I mean. Your streams help me with my gout. <laughs> Your streams help me with my gout? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to help, man. That's a cool throw. End of the line. Hey, thanks, Bobby Hill, and thanks, Eric P. Oh, here we go. Oh. So that side throw recovers back turn, but she's too far for the throw to reach. <laughs> Right? Alright, let's pick a different character. Pick Yoshi? Yeah, I know, except, uh, you know, here's the issue. Do you see Yoshi available as a character? He's unlockable. Bitch. Hey, thanks, uh, Duck Angle. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. How about Zazmasaw? This character was so cheap in this game. Top Tanya, in my opinion, at least until I stopped playing. He won the first big major by the hands of my Jewish friend Dan. So cheap. How do you do that air throw? He has an air throw that's fucked up. I don't remember how to do it. I'm about to remember though. How do you do that fucking air throw? Is it back A plus B? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so this is the cheek move. Six six B B back A plus B. Air throw. So this is mid, low. You have to be very sharp to block it. You can just do the mid. Uh, of course, everything else he has is fucked up and cheap. He has like uh, uh, ring outs from all sides. Tons of cheap shit. He's mega good. His BB is brutal. It tracks both directions. Uh, it's a frame trap into itself. Huge range. Mega cheesy. Uh, he's a beast. He's a beast. Oh yeah, he could run away with this move like crazy all day, like a bitch. Brutal. High damage character. Uh, very, very, very good character, in my opinion. Hey, uh, Raconica, thanks, man. And Tigas, underscore, and Techniques. Thanks, guys. So, um, let's try again. Let's try that, that bug. I want to get that shit to work. I just, I can't quite remember exactly how to get it to work, but it was so popular that it broke the game. It made it so that no one wanted to play this game anymore. Google it? I might actually. Google it on YouTube. Oh, 
Okay, so I may be doing it, right? I am doing it, huh? Some people are uh, are saying you're doing it. Maybe I don't even remember exactly what it looks like. So, okay, let's look at it like this. When I do this move and it gets guard impacted, I'm gonna hold block. So once the, the weapon I'm holding goes up to this position, that's how you know I'm blocking, right? You see how long it takes? So, this is an advanced technique and maybe I'm not doing it correctly. But if you look, you can see how long it takes for me to return to the blocking position. Now, I think I can manipulate that with this bug if I can do it fast. There we go, you see that? You see that? So, what does that mean? That means that, watch this. First action, if we make it guard, what happens here? I think I might have been doing it this whole time. I just didn't realize it. Okay, second action. Got this, watch this. Second action. Stand guard. So it's gonna be a GI. Hey, why aren't you GI, club? I, I've changed it to default, that must be it. Guard impact. Repel. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna G he's gonna block as soon as he can. Right? And I'm gonna do that as well. So look at that. This is a good example. You can see when Mitsurugi is able to block. When he's able to block, that's when he's able to act. Right? And I'm able to act way after that. Now let's see if I can change that. You see that? How we're recovering at the same time? Did you notice that? So what does that end up doing? You can do... I think what you can do, if you do it right, is you can steal a turn. So if he GI's me, I can then throw him or something. I just don't know if I'm doing it precisely enough. I wish I had a stick working. Yeah, Mike Ross is in the news today. What's the deal? I keep noticing people talking about Mike Ross. That was it right there, by the way. I'm about to do it and you guys are gonna get hyped. He did an AMA. Oh, well that's cool. I don't use uh, Reddit too often unless someone says I should look at something. Should I assume on Reddit? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can't really do stuff too accurately on pad, but I'm trying. Shit to work. <coughs> Cam six nine six nine. Thanks for the subscription. I think that was actually it, but maybe it was like an ugly version of it. Yeah, that was it. So he's still recovering, and I've shook out of my GI animation, and I'm attacking again. That was basically it, more or less, a sloppy version of it. Mm, is it possible to do a normal 2G in this game? No, not the Soul Calibur 2 version of the move, of the of the strategy, I should say. Yeah. 
That was essentially it right there. You see that? So, essentially, I guess the easiest way to show it is, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, this move, this move right here. He's going to GI it, and then I'm going to mash the A button. That's how long it takes. You see that? So now I'm going to do it with the 2G. You see that? How quickly I was able to act? See that? Right there. I did it right there. It's hard to do on pad. That's really what it is. Right there. I did it. Right there. So basically what happens is, you steal the turn that they stole from you. It's like, it totally breaks the system. It makes it so that these guard impacts are totally broken and useless. But that's not all. This is like a system-wide bug that exists not only in guard impacts, but it exists in throw breaks, back turn throw animations. I mean, it's like, it's really, it plagues this game. It plagues the game in a way that makes it really bad. Like, that's why I always say this is the worst Soul Calibur ever, because all the other Soul Calibur games, it's arguable because of one thing or another in terms of balance, this character's cheap or whatever. But this game, it doesn't even work right. Like, if they were able to patch it or fix it, they totally would have, but it went straight to console. It was basically like they <laughs> fucked up Thank because you. the game didn't get the arcade run, which they still have this philosophy till this day. You know that Tekken 7, you know, four years we waited? for it to come out, all that shit we waited for, that's basically them refining the game so that it doesn't go straight to DVD like this game did. That's essentially what it is. I mean, vanilla version of Tekken 7 was trash, garbage. But it took them long enough, you know, and then they refined it and it's good. Don't forget this game having a save corrupt bug. I didn't even know about that. What about the arcade edition? Yeah, I mentioned earlier that due to this game being such a disaster, they made an arcade edition of it. Uh, try with Mitsurugi's 2-2-B. Yeah, there's a few characters that have that. Um, let's see. Can I switch to... Oh, I have to plug in the other controller. I'll switch to Mitsurugi, though. <coughs> How do I unlock Yoshi in this game? Is it like I have to buy him or something? I want to try Yoshi. Uh, let's actually... Uh, after Mitsurugi, I'll try Baldo again. Mm. Frio. Thanks. And formerly male. Thanks very much. So 2-2-B is what you guys are talking about? Oh, yeah. It's 8-8-B. This move, 8-8-B, eight, eight, this is, okay, so you can do 2-2-B, two, two, which is this version of the move, and then you can do 8-8-B, eight, eight, which is the other version of the move. It, it's the same move, but he does it in the other direction. This is old shit, and he actually still has this move, 2-2 two, two, and 8-8-B, eight, eight, right? But if you do the 8-8 eight, eight version, you can cancel out of it with this same bug, G-2. This is not a guard cancelable move. But because of this bug, it's actually due to him turning his back during the move. You see what I'm saying? So it basically exposes his back. And what does that do? Because you can cancel it, basically what that does is if you time it right, you can turn this move into a launcher. It's not supposed to be a launcher. 
This move is supposed to give you one free hit on the ground. Something like that, right? That may not be the best thing to do, but essentially it's supposed to be something like that, right? But with this bug, you can turn this into a launcher, and it's really a fucking disaster. You see what I'm saying? This move is safe. And this isn't the only instance of this. You know, it's fucked up. This move is safe, it hits on the ground, and it ends up becoming a giant monster of a move. You know, it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. There are other cases like this too. I mentioned earlier with Baldo. That is also another case where Valdo gets this really cheesy low that he's not supposed to have because of this exact same bug. This 2G bug, this phenomenon that exists in this game, it's a disaster. It totally plagues the entire game. Wow, look how blurry this is. I think this is due to the settings of the emulator. Maybe because this is a moving stage? Look at this stage! Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. I think this is Zazmasol's stage. So this must be how they made the pyramids. Soul Calibur stages. Weird. I'm gonna change stages. It's not motion blur, it's just the settings of the emulator. Egypt is the place to be. Egypt. Egypt. Mitsurugi. Kupo v. Joe. Fight. Or Cup of Joe, depending. Thanks. And also Sony Knight. Thanks very much. This is another one. Right here. Backpack K. Thank you. This move is supposed to recover just like it did in Soul Calibur 1 and 2. It's supposed to be a low kick that recovers on the ground, does 33 damage, and that's the end of that, right? But due to this bug, this low kick. Not only does it not recover on the ground, if you do the bug, you can stand up after it hits, like that, but it ends up being a launcher on regular hit, like that, that's guaranteed, and on block, that shit becomes a plus on block low, plus on block. So, let's have this guy crouch, guard, right? <laughs> Thank you. You can mix up on block because of this. You do it right, of course. He's stuck in block stun there. So I can mix up between a low or I can mix up... Actually, I think what you can do is you can do another one. You can do these lows over and over again if you do it right. I think. Anyway, the point is that he's stuck in block stun because this is fucking broken. Basically, this game is riddled with bugs. Could you imagine that? Your best moves with your character are moves that shouldn't be in the game. Mitsurugi's got these moves. Look at that. That doesn't even make sense. Look at the, the animation there. Are there any infinites in this game? Um, I don't remember. There's a lot more of this that I could show you, but honestly, I don't remember how to unlock Yoshi. Do you guys know how to unlock Yoshi? This character also, if we were to ignore all the bugs, right? This character also got the short end of the stick. I wonder why. I don't know. Don't ask me, but Baldo got nerfed like crazy in this game. I mean, he got nerfed so hard, it's like, what the fuck? My favorite move? This move sucks ass in this game, and it sucked ass worse and worse after this. Basically, what they did to this character in this game is they separated his one stance, which is his standing stance, into two separate stances. Before... When you were back turned, if you held block, you turned around and you were then front turned. But they thought it would be a good idea to make it so that Valdo is right down the middle, split into two. Front turned and back turned. 
And when you go back turn, you don't turn around when you block. You block back turn, and you stay back turn. Well, that may not seem so bad, except imagine every time you're in front of the opponent and you're forced into a mix-up, every time they decide to throw you, it's a back throw. Sure, Valdo can break back throws. He's one of the only characters in this game that can do it. If you don't break the throw correctly, it's gonna do fucking back throw damage. So every time you're up close and you block in back turn, you're risking getting back thrown. Even though, sure, you might be able to break it still, as I said, it's fucked up. The whole thing's fucked up too because they, they split the moves apart. So, like some moves that you could do from front, front turn, you can't do from front... What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's you. a weird move, I don't remember. That's a weird ass move. I can't even hit with it. Wow. This game is super, super weird. They, this is his while standing A. Man, they really screwed this character up. I remember being so, like, devastated. Because, you know, I was a huge Baldo fan. And he's just awful in this game. They nerfed everything. His back turned A. Oh, my, this shit is so whack. Could you imagine that? How are you even supposed to do anything? Because the moment that you do something in back turn, whatever it may be, it's like you're put in a fucked up situation where if they throw you, you are so screwed. And, oh my god, I forgot about that too. You jump, oh my, I'm gonna have a heart attack. This fucking guy, it's like they totally nerfed my whole playstyle when this character came out. You guys remember in Soul Calibur 2 how much I like to jump? And I do while landing K all the time. Dude, first of all, while landing K, it doesn't knock down in this game. So it doesn't ring out, it doesn't do shit. So that's one thing that got nerfed. But you know how I was saying back turned when you block? You don't turn around? When you jump back turned, that means you don't have a mix up. The fucking mid doesn't hit. Shit's gonna make me cry. So you don't have a back turn jump anymore. The low hits on the wrong side, but the mid doesn't hit. So there's no back turn mix up from while landing. The whole thing is gormless. Man, butt hurt. They nerfed everything for the character. Did they have wall? Jumps in this game? Yeah, we had that. Why are you playing Trash Game? Well, I think that the new one is coming out and I wanted to revisit all of them. To kind of not only revisit it to see what it, what was good about it, but also to highlight what was bad about it. You know, so hopefully we don't get such a shitty product in Soul Calibur 6. Thank you. You feel me, Red Bane? Or is it too complicated? Paprika, I Huff Farts, Fioriscos, Stinkfist, and also Bosco. Thanks. Mmm, Valdo's back stance was good in SC4 and 5 though. Yeah, hey, what's up, No Face Killer? Yeah, I know, but I mean, um, what you're saying is like... I mean, think about what you're saying. It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. That's like saying, yeah, but Jin is really good in Tekken 4 though. Valdo got flushed. Hey. Jin is really good in Tekken 4 though, right? You feel me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Jin is really good in Tekken 4, but why are you talking about Tekken 4 when we're talking about Soul Calibur 3? You know? We're not talking about Tekken 4. We're talking about Soul Calibur 3 here. You know? So yeah, you may be right about that, but, uh, you know, my cat's breath smells like cat food. Uh, Namcop, thanks very much for that. 
Mmm. I appreciate it. I hear that. You know that Claudio shit? I think he has it in this game too, right? You have to counter hit with the second hit only. It might not be easy to do. Excuse me. Hmm, let's see here. Duragon, what's up, man? I remember you using Valdo's BT while landing A a lot. Dude, I remember hating this character in this game. I liked him much more in 4 and 5. This game, Valdo was just a disaster. It was a disaster character. When, this game was fucking crazy, dude. This game's crazy. Zazmasol and... Fucking, what's that bitch's name? <laughs> Zazmasol. Um, oh, Sophia in this game, it, she does 60% off of her 6XB launcher. Insane damage. Safe. 60% safe damage. How do you unlock characters in this game? Let's try to do that. I want to do that. Uh, let's see. Maybe I got a beat practice mode or something. I mean, an uh, arcade mode or something. There is no arcade mode. Damn, this game is really... They had an arcade edition too? Unbelievable. This is... They they modeled Street Fighter V after this game. Unfinished original product, then arcade edition. Beat Yoshimitsu in Tales of Souls. Tales of Souls. All right. Mm, who are we gonna pick? Let's pick someone else that we haven't picked. Let's pick Siegfried. This is also the first game where they separated this character into two characters. Before, Siegfried and Nightmare were the same shit. In this game, they're two completely separate characters. And they are still two separate characters to this day. This is a cool stage. Burning Mansion. I'm done. This game has a lot of cool ideas, too. Who's this guy? He's a created character. Hei Siang Swordsman? Look at the Swordsman. Give us a Wow. Oh, boy. Do you think SC6 is gonna have Weapon Master? Hey, I don't even know what Weapon Master is. I mean, my instinct is to say it's for bitches, just because I don't know what it is. But it could be cool. Doesn't mean it's not for bitches. Does he not have a Hell Sweep in this? He doesn't. They took it away. I'm just trying to rush through it to beat, to beat it or whatever it is. Maybe I should have put it on easy mode. Oh shit! This is completely absurd. Zendo, Crescendo, and Fake Out. Thanks, guys. How did you manage to even exist? This is completely absurd. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a little blurry on all of these stages that have a moving background, I noticed. I'm annoyed. I'm going to make you disappear forever. You are the one that should disappear forever. What's the major difference between this Rock and Astaroth? There are several differences, but if I had to say the major difference, I think that it's that Poseidon's Tide for Rock doesn't, doesn't throw. It's just a knockdown. Um, so it doesn't air throw, it doesn't shift into a throw. That's a big difference. Also, command grabs are different. But other than that, it's just minor shit. New items have been unlocked? Alright. 
What's this? Pursue her. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Can you show us your form is poor? Sure, but I have to unlock Roth first, I think. Johnny Beto, what up, man? Thanks for that resub. Thank you. GG's. And Super Scrub, thanks for that big tier three. Thief? Whoosh. Press start to skip? To skip what? Oh, it's Valdo. So eventually, I think we're gonna fight against, um... Uh, the Yo-Man. And once we do, we'll unlock him. Hopefully. Finding a 100% save would be faster? I don't even know what the fuck that means, so it wouldn't be faster because I'd have to Google what the hell that even means first. Mm, maybe what you should do is instead of typing that shit in the chat room and making everyone think you're an asshole, what you could do is you could find the link yourself and then post it. And that way, instead of me having this back and forth with you and thinking you're an asshole, I could be like, hey, thanks for the link. You're not an asshole at all. Pretty crazy, huh? You could have refined that and we would have been carrying you into the sunset as a hero. But now look at what you've become. No big deal. At least maybe next time. Whoa. Oh, quick time event. Oh my god. Did you see that? Quick time event. This guy's eye has gold teeth. Hey, Purple Hamster, and Boris Badenoff, and Dastardly Pug. What up, everybody? Be cool. Thanks for the sub. Dastardly Pug, Boris Badenoff, Purple Hamster. GG. Thanks. Put this in the cheat folder for whatever the hell it's called. Are you going to give me an anthrax KKK virus right now? You can't be trusted. Damn. She's cheap in this game too! Oh man, I forgot about her. The Great Wall! The Great Wall of China, dude! She's got a move called the Great Wall, and it's referring to the Great Wall of China. It's so cheap. It's the cheapest move ever. You lose. Nine. You must. I must finish my duty. I... Versus Shanghua. She's Fight. so cheap. She can like. <laughs> I gotta pick her and show you. It's so crazy. Man, she's cheap. Stop moving around. It's over. Man, this shit's getting hard. Hey! Uh oh, oh cheating ass throws? Blurry throws? You lose. Oh, in this game, you have to guess throw breaks. You can't just, like, see the throw and then break it. Like in Tekken. Phantom XL, thanks for the reset. Versus Fight. You're not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. That's one of the things I really love about Soul Calibur. They talk shit to each other while they're fighting. And it's, it's always really funny. Like, um... Um... What's his name? Cervantes, when he does his back turned attack, he always says, entertain me. Entertain me. I used to live next to this girl named Alexa, and we used to always <laughs> say how she's like Cervantes. She hit you up when she's bored. Entertain me. She's like Cervantes, dude. She just hit you up when she's bored. Oh, cheater. You lose. No, it doesn't matter. 
whether I am saved. Okay. Versus Shanghua, fight! <laughs> Get this damn ring out! Get the fuck out of here! Oh! 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 Get, oh! Wrong way! Oh! Oh! She's good, and she key charged on me. No versus Shangpa. Fight! All right, let's try this shit again. Get over here. Hey, be cool. All right, there we go. In front of all my friends? I don't think so. You could never be. I don't think so. Where's where's Yoshi at? I don't want to get an anthrax KKK virus. Is this him? This might be him. Nope, this is Mr. Rugi. Maybe it'll be faster if I just do that every time. Hey, come over here. Uh oh. Oh! All right, he's pretty clever. Pretty clever. Give him that. I've gotten rid of my weakness versus Oh yeah, this is also before they added magic and shit. In, I think it was Soul Calibur 4, they added the idea of like critical finishes that have like, you know, ice and lightning and shit like that. Motherfucker, get over here, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. A train Ooh. express. Thanks. How pathetic. Don't make no. I fear nothing. Versus Mitsurugi. Fight. Maybe we should go to this side of the stage. Yeah, here. Okay, get over here, bitch. There you go. Simple mathematics. You win. I won't fail. She raises versus Taki. Fight. That does not knock down. Oh my god. How could they do him like that? Man. Siegfried players. They really fucked this character up too by splitting him in half. Why did they do that? Poor guy. He was cool. I don't want to fucking follow all these ghetto ass steps to unlock characters. I just want Yoshi. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this a. What the hell is this guy doing? This guy's cheating. Willow of the Wisp? You lose. Don't ask me. Whoa. You will regret not killing me when you had the chance. They also turned you him are into a vampire. No human, are you? Versus Raphael. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit, dude. What a joke. Entertain me. Your form is poor. You're not going anywhere. End of the line. You win. I like that shit. Talking shit mid match. You're not going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> you disappoint me, Aaron. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Unbelievable. too good it, it really opens up a lot of potential shit talk because the character is doing it too so as the character is talking shit all you have to do is fucking mimic them <laughs> and you. they're doing it for you you know the guy goes you disappoint me all you gotta do is say it right after he says it you, you disappoint me amigo i mean it's too <laughs> good you. it's too good i love that about this game. <laughs> yes, i love you. it they talk so much shit it's like, uh, it's, it's too much. They talk too much shit. 
Yeah, you're just gonna say that shit every time. End of the line. End of the line. Every time you do the move, you say end of the line. Hell yes. Every fucking time. End of the line. Love that shit. I'm hype about that. Thanks, Combo Feed. All right. Thanks for the sub. Tier two. Shamumi. Thanks, Shamumi and Grubs and Train Express. Thanks again. Thanks, Combo Fiend. Hey, how hard is it gonna be for me to unlock the Yo Man here? This is what I'm doing. Wow! This moron just jumped out, Harry Kiri. He has to save on game facts. Yes, yes, I already got that. I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna take me 30 minutes. I hate troubleshooting shit on stream. I don't know how to download a save. Impressive. Shh. I did not expect such power. Yeah. But I did not come all this way just to die. Purple hamster, thanks. Quick time event? Whoa. Oh, gee. Oh, fuck. Quick time event. Whoa. Oh, shit. Look at my sword. It's like the Soul Calibur special version of my sword. Damn, look at my health. It's because I didn't do that quick time event. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is so whack. Easiest thing I ever done. You win. I've made up my mind. I will finish this. That was an unimpressive explosion. <laughs> Thank you. Crossfire. Thanks. Seek it. You will pay for what you've done. You will never run away from your sin. You have no right to live. It is a sin for you to be alive. Theatrix. Oh! I pushed all! Oh. Fuck. I pushed up plus G. Fuck is Yoshi? I must have unlocked something. Fox 30 News. You're the best Aris. Keep up the dank shit. I'm the best Aris out of how many? Hey, thanks. Aris. Aw, evolution. Thanks, evolution. I appreciate it. I'm skipping this shit. So I didn't get Yoshi, I don't think. I gotta figure out how to unlock him. Thanks again. Caliber. Gotta do Tara? What's Tara? By picking a specific path. Tira? Play Tira for Yoshi. Alright, I'll do that. Museum. Alright, uh, Tale of Souls. Tira. Weird costume. Tira's path. Oh my god. I gotta jump through hoops. Yoshimitsu's the last one? Shit. How are we gonna... We gotta find out, like, what her ring out moves are. I don't know how to use her. If only there was a way to download a save. 
that has all of the characters unlocked. Unfortunately, such a thing doesn't exist. How do you ring out with this guy? First of all, it's not a guy. Oh, there we go. I can do that. Get that ass out of the ring, bitch. Out of the ring. Oh, that's Sophie. Maybe I can unlock her, too. I want to unlock Sophie. <clears throat> Does that mean I can unlock her? Two new items have been unlocked. Maybe I can get her now. Yeah, some of the stages are blurry. I don't know what causes that. But I don't really give a shit. There you go. Now we're talking. You win. Oh, you're so lucky. You got to die so peacefully. <laughs> Thanks again, Evolution. Oh, quick time event. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. Nice. I got it this time. I will not allow you to get in my way. Let's go. That was ridiculous. What are you doing? <laughs> I couldn't agree with it being ridiculous. Fight. Ooh, Zazma Sol is so cheap, dude. I hate this guy. I'm gonna play him in part uh, six. Oh god. I thought that might ring out. End of the line. You win. Your form is poor. Also, Rock is Rock. Oh, uh, he's not a default unlocked character, is he? No, right. You gotta unlock him. <laughs> Thank you. Follow the man with scythe. Let's choose the scythe after this battle. All right. Choose don't give up. Cassandra being watched. Stop the. Hey, you guys can post this shit again. Don't give up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Follow the man with scythe. Choose don't give up. Both of them say. Oh, don't give up. Don't give up. You don't give up. Love for her family is power. Cassandra no one is being watched. Stop doppelganger. Choose you know search for man. Okay. Be cool. Fight. Let me get over here and try and ring this dumbass out too. That is an ugly costume for Cassandra. Get over here. Oh, you can't beat me. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! Oh, that was a Just Impact! Oh, shit. Just Impact in this game is a guard impact that's timed perfectly, and it gives you a counter hit as your retaliation. But it's too bad the guard impact system in the game doesn't even work properly, so it doesn't even really fucking matter. End of the world. You win. Hey, yeah, quick copy pasting that shit or no pants is gonna go crazy. Copy paste it when I'm ready. Did I fuck up already? Cassandra being watched stop the doppelganger. Did I pick that? I hope I picked it. Fuck. What? I start with my back to the ring? Why? Tara is the perfect girl. I dream of her every night while touching myself. Do you think they will bring her back in six or break my heart? You may. Hey, thanks. I want to lick Tira. And thanks, Rose. Hey, you can. 
And Kekko came in. Thanks very much. Uh, is there something I need to she choose here, or did I fuck this up? Versus oh, wow, look at that Shanghua costume. Perverbs. Open your ears. Yeah, out of here. Ah! Do I have to select something? Something else? Versus Maxi. Excuse me. They really screwed up Maxi in this game too. They like they changed the way a lot of these characters function, and then they never change them back. So they basically killed off the character in a in a way. They, they Soul Calibur one and Soul Calibur two Maxi are never they're never coming back. Same with Ivy, same with Valdo. There are many many characters <clears throat> that they completely changed, like on a fundamental level, and they're never gonna bring that version of the character back. So they're basically dead. N uh, Nightmare also fundamentally changed forever. Uh, Taki. I mean, it's just like the list of characters that died with that game is very high. Just completely dead. They're never coming back. It's just a totally different character. It looks the same, but the design and the play style and the overall, like, you know, uh, combat archetype for the character is changed. And that's just the way it is. Wow, the double crush. Yeah, it's kind of like Street Fighter V, except imagine if in Street Fighter VI, VII, and VIII they kept the Street Fighter V version, and they never made the old version again. It's just permanent. You only have to deal with one Street Fighter V game, and hopefully the next one will have characters that aren't retarded, right? But that's not the case here. They stay retarded. And you know, some people actually like the new version, which is fine, but that doesn't mean that they didn't, they, they needed to do it that way, you know? These are infinite loops too, by the way, I just remembered. Uh, Cracker Jack, 47, and Asian Z. Hmm? Oh, oh, shit. Look how close it was. You lose. I'm pretty hopeful for Soul Calibur 6. Uh, I, me too. I don't know if hopeful is the word, but I have a good attitude about it. I think that Soul Calibur 6, at first I was, I was displeased with the way it looks, right? But then when I played it in person, I realized that the game itself has potential. So at, if the potential is there, if I can see the potential, then I can at least get turned up about it. If I can get turned up about it, the rest is history. And I can definitely get turned up over Soul Calibur 6 after playing it. Just watching it, eh, there was a little too much that felt like Soul Calibur 5 just from watching it. But when you play it, it doesn't feel that much like Soul Calibur 5. In fact, it doesn't feel that much like any of them. It just feels new. But it doesn't look new, so that's part of the problem. It doesn't look new, and it's hard to see what's new about it just by watching it. And it's also hard to beat this motherfucker when you don't know how to use Tira. How do you fucking beat this guy? You lose. Mm, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Versus Maxi, fight. I gotta get the ring out. It's the only way. I don't know how to use this dumb character. Get away from me. All right, come over here. Come over here. Oh shit! Get out! Oh no! This guy's a cheating ass bitch. There we go. Beautiful. <sighs> Is Yoshi next?
being watched. Doppelganger. What's the end? Search for a man. He lives right? Versus Mitsurugi. Fight. Search for a man. All right, let me get to the edge. <gasps> oh, Mitch! Get out of the ring. End of the line. Get out. Asshole! There you go. You win. So I gotta follow the guy. Oh, here we go. You are absolutely irritating. Hurry up and disappear. My clan members cry out for vengeance. Versus Yoshimitsu. This guy's sick. They made Yoshi so awesome in this game. He says the coolest shit, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm cool. I don't mean this game specifically, I mean all Soul Calibur. Just Yoshi in general in Soul Calibur is an awesome character. He's cool in Tekken too, but I think in Tekken he got weird. With all the tentacles and shit. I mean, he's always been kind of weird, but I feel like his fighting style with two swords. As soon as Tekken 6 Yoshi came out, it's like they gave him the Soul Calibur treatment where they turned the character into a new style. I didn't like that. With the sword, sword stances. I don't like that shit. You win. So I think I unlocked him now, right? Hopefully. This is kind of weird. Is this Cervantes? Who the hell is this? Is this a Siegfried costume? I think this is an alternate costume for Siegfried. Thank you. This game potentially could have been very good. It's just the way it came out with the arcade release being broken and then, uh, sorry, with the console release being broken and then the arcade release being a fucking joke. I mean, Several people said, and this was just from hearsay because I literally never played the arcade version once, but several people said the arcade version was great. What difference does it make how great the arcade version is if none of the arcades got it? It was so hard to find. So let alone on a competitive level or if you're going to have tournaments, forget it. Hey Pulum, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Leave this place at once. This game had a random chance to corrupt your entire memory card? I never even heard of that. That sucks. I probably stopped playing and stopped giving a shit about this game long before that was ever discovered. Can't you skip these cinematics with the emulator? Hey, what's up, Red Name? Why would I want to do that? Anyway, I don't think you can skip it, at least not by s pushing start. If there's another way to skip it, I don't know how to do it. Either way, don't talk to me. Why do I have no health? I don't I don't see why I have no You health. lose. Nice. I'll make versus Abyss. Fight. Let's just bring his ass out. Hey, come over here. I just noticed my weapon. This is like the Ultimo Soul Edge version of the weapon. Oh fuck. Get out! Ah. Man, that shit hits behind? Are you kidding me? What the fuck was that? This character was banned. By the way, Abyss. HR Chow Lan. Thanks for that silent $15 dues, man. I appreciate it. You win. 
Why was Assassin banned in Soul Calibur 2? I don't think he was banned. He was allowed. I used him in tournament. I mean, in the past. Not as a main, but I remember using him once or twice in tournament. He wasn't banned. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. Weird. I have to hurry up and find a new body. Rockabilly Idol, thanks for the Twitch Prime. This is super weird, right? Abyss was banned because he was too cheap. How are you supposed to push left and right at the same time? Did you see that quick time event? What the fuck? That quick time event said I was supposed to push left and right at the same time. What's your name? Hey, what's that thing you're holding, miss? Do you like it? You need a hitbox? Oh, I'm glad. What the fuck? Alright. The legend will never die. Nice who? We got both of them. Alright, that's cheap shit. Damn, we unlocked all this shit? Nice who? Alright, so is it unlocked or do I have to then buy it? I think I have to buy it now in the museum. No? Damn, you can see some underboob. Blurry shit. So caliber three. It's unlocked. Okay. So let's go to practice mode first with Sophitia. She was also extremely cheap in this game. One of the cheapest characters. Whoa! Look at her face. She is looking fine in this game. Damn, no f Whoa! Damn, she's looking good. She's a butterface in this game. Can we go back and see that again? Damn, I guess that was a one-time only deal. Hmm. That was peculiar. Ready? That's a cool looking costume. Protect me. Anyway, as you can probably already tell, her Sophia. sweater dicks have grown quite a bit between Soul Calibur. Damn, this stage is trash. Some of these stages have a blur. I wonder how that happened the first time. Protect me. Ready? I want one of the stages that I know isn't ugly. This one. Versus Sophitia. Ready? She's got a steel brazier. Okay, look at this shit. This move is safe. Everyone knows that. It's in, it's safe in every game. This move. It's a classic Sophitia move. Very, very good. Except in this game, you get this and to another one. Oh, God. This is we're opening up old wounds. This, this, this. That's a combo. You can't get out of that. It does so much. That's like 60%. It's so cheap, dude. It moves safe. It hits on the ground, too. That's a combo. So that's her bread and butter in this game. It's really, really crazy. 101 damage off of a safe mid that hits on the ground. Too good.
by far. Doesn't even show it right in practice mode. There we go. All right, not 60, but counter hit, it can get up to, oh, I forgot about backdash counters. Backdash counter yields 150% damage. So if you're trying to backdash in this game, of course you can see the range of this move. It oftentimes will hit backdash counter, right? So that means the first hit does 150% of its original damage, then the combo does full damage. It's so cheap, dude. It's insane. Anyway, that's what one of the things that makes her cheap in this game. She's really cool in part 6 though. It's got a lot of interesting moves. Let's look at the yo man. Look at his costume. And the other one's weird too. Like an alien with a weird head. Ready? Sophia. Battle. His wooden fight. arm. They really emphasize his arm in this game. It's got like gears and shit. Anyway, this character. How do you do the the crazy throws with him? How do you do that? There's a way to like mash out of these throws. Oh yeah. They gave him these different stances in this game. He has them still in the new ones, I think. He has helicopter stance like in Soul Calibur, I'm sorry, like in Tekken. Except he also has something called like super helicopter stance or whatever. Look at his life ticks away when he's up here. So you can't stay in this stance forever. And you can move hella quickly. Look at my life. Look how much it costs to do this. And then you have airborne suicide. Aerial seppuku. Have you seen that? Shit is so fucking sick. He kills himself in the air and then falls on top of you. This, this shit is crazy, dude. They really did an interesting uh, number on this character. He's still cool in Soul Calibur, if you ask me. That's a just frame, too. If you're up in the air like that, so this is a combo, you're in the air, if you do the kick, you land on the ground and then fall, they can punish you. But if you do that kick and then hit kick right when you land on the ground, which I didn't there, you, you get health back. You gotta do it just right, it's a just frame. I did it the first time. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. It gives you some health back. This character is crazy. How do you do that in this game? Okay, floor it. Thanks. Yoshimitsu never stopped being cool? I guess. Uh, in Tekken he kind of did, but in this game he didn't. I think he's cool in Tekken 7 though. Is there a way to have them break throws? No, right? <laughs> Thank you. Damn. 
Damn, did you see that? Damn, that's cheap. Did you see that? You're not supposed to be able to attack so quickly after a GI. Oh, this is avoiding the puddle. See how I'm recovering so instantly there? That's broken. That's not supposed to happen. This is how it should look. That's how it should look. But if you do it right, it's so much faster than that. so many bad memories well <clears throat> in the end this is the game that basically birthed the Soul Calibur games that we have now this is the game it changed a lot of things well another thing that changed on a fundamental level is the whole idea of an A versus an AA I've talked about that many times. In Soul Calibur 2, a character like Yoshi, a viable attack string with Yoshi in Soul Calibur 2 is something like this. A, down A. So it's like a poke. A, down A. It's kind of like a uh, jab in Soul Calibur, uh, in Tekken, it would equal something like jab, down forward one. Standing one, down forward one. It's a very common type of a check style, you know, let's keep things under control type of a strategy. Standing A, down A. In Soul Calibur 1 and 2, this is a viable strategy. In Soul Calibur 3 and every game after it, they changed that fundamentally and they made it so that if you do a standing A, you no longer have enough of an advantage to continue the attack so you now have to do AA so what does that do in the long run what it does is you get gameplay and combat that looks a lot like this AA AA or AA BB why does it look like that because you do an AA it's your fastest move you do it as a punish or whatever it hits and then you have frame advantage at that point you're faced with is he going to duck or attack or is he going to sidestep if he ducks or attacks AA into BB is gonna stop that if he sidesteps AA into AA is gonna stop that so this is a fundamental concept in the game right and it has continued like this from this point on and to me it's ugly it's ugly you just see a lot of AA BB or AA, AA. And it's the that way with several characters. It's just a common gameplay style that it has after this point. Prior to this, there was a lot more freedom of poking. You used to see a lot more broken up custom style offense that really made it so that if you watch one guy play a character, it was completely different than the next guy who played the same character. It was very, 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 very cool. I mean, like, 
Flo, for example, right? Flo was one of the best Taki players on the planet, right? And Mo Tempest, who was another really, really great Taki player, they played these char this character so differently that it might as well have been a different character. Name the character differently, because it's totally different. I mean, we're talking about Flo playing a defensive, really, really solid, dangerous defensive style, and Mo Tempest was crazy offense oriented and utilized the character's rushdown ability. So, I mean, if you watch these two play, it was like a completely different character, right? But in this game and every game after that, it's very hard to have your own unique style because they took away so much of your freedom. Cancels were removed, uh, lots of things that the game had that were like. Here's another example. Oh, I won't be able. Let's go back to Sophie. Lots of things that characters had that were kind of like, um, you know, something would be cancelable. For example, they took the cancels away. They took stances away. They did a lot to kind of, in their eyes, they were simplifying. This is one example. This move in Soul Calibur One and Two, it's cancelable. And what makes it good is you can use this as a fake. Like, you could get in their face and you can cancel with it. Something like this. Except the difference is, it's a big, like, animation with flames. So you'd be able to use it in this really cool way. But it's gone. You can't do that anymore. And, uh, yeah, I think it's sorely missed. I hope that Soul Calibur 6 brings back a lot of these ideas. Let's see if... Nightmare? Six feet. Let's go six feet again. That's it. Oh yeah, the Great Wall! I forgot about that. I'll, I'll show the Great Wall after this. Shanghua's Great Wall was crazy. Okay, what was I gonna show? Oh, the Cancel. So this Cancel is another one. This exists and they didn't take it away. So this is a Cancel, like, remember a moment ago I explained why it's important to have Cancels like this? Because they, ha they turn the lights off. You see the lights? The stage? It gets gray. And it also has flames on it. So this is like a good cancel, it gets you to flinch, you know what I mean? And it's an instant uh, recovery too. He also makes noise. He says this is the end. So this is like a visual cue, audio cue, it's like a way to get your opponent to flinch. But they took a lot of this stuff away. A lot of it is gone. In their eyes I think they were simplifying. But in the end, it was already so simple to begin with. I don't know, I always felt like Soul Calibur was more simple than Tekken. By a lot. Man, this guy's tits jiggle too. Look at Astro's titties! Ugh. Anyway, the game is very simple. I don't know why they're trying to oversimplify it when it's already so simple. Versus Sophitia. Battle. I should have picked the stage. Yeah. <clears throat> Ready? Is this one blurry too? Sophitia. It could be. Battle. Fight. No, it's not. <clears throat> uh K Drama King and Disarray. And Echoes, Sometimes Souls, and OK Floor It. Thanks, guys, for liking my stream. This is the Great Wall. This is the Great Wall of China, right here. It's so fucking crazy in this game. It's so crazy. Basically, uh, this exists in every game, right? She has this move in every game, but in this game, it sidesteps and high crushes better than it does in any other game. But most importantly, it's cancelable. So if you do this real fast, I mean faster than I can do it on a pad. I mean real fast. Faster than I can do it on a pad. If you do it right, She's very hard to even hit. She's basically constantly in your face and behind you. And if she lets it rip, 
Let's say you're pressuring her, right? <clears throat> you're pressuring her. You got her back to the wall. She lets it rip. You get wrung out. It's so cheap. Let's see if I can get it to work here. Versus CPU. Basically, it's the cheapest fucking shit ever. Ring out. Simple mathematics. Just like that. It's so hard to hit this move. It's insane. You're always behind them. It's the cheapest move. And it rings out. It's insane. And I'm on pad. I don't play pad. I can't do it right on pad. But if you do it right, it's fucking crazy, dude. You can't touch her. It's like she's snake dash dashing all the time. Untouchable. And if she lets it rip, you're out. You're wrung out. Cheap-ass move. It's insane. Cheap-ass move. <coughs> Your emulator settings are missing shadows. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell the issue is with the emulator. I just wanted to tinker around with this game a bit. No big deal. Did you see that? Oh my god, I was barf. Blech. Are you watching how cheap this move is? In application, it's cheaper than it is in practice. In actual application, this move is insanely cheap. In practice, it doesn't even seem that cheap. But if this were a real match with a real person, that person would put a gun in their mouth because of this fucking move. It's insane. It's crazy. That was the move that you just saw her do right there is a mid A that's supposed to track. You can't you can't hit this bitch. She's all over you. And the moment she decides to let it rip, you're wrung out. Ring out. Gotcha. End of the line. How do you do that shit where she taunts? She has just kidding stance in this, right? Just kidding stance. Tritia <laughs> for a cancel? So annoying. Cheapest move ever, dude. Old wounds all day. You know, something else that they did in this game that I always forget to mention is in Soul Calibur 1 and 2, there were no real combos. There were combos, but combos are kind of in that game. It's, I should say there weren't very many juggles, right? Oftentimes there would be a launcher and then another hit. Or a launcher into a spike into a third hit. But that's it. Tops. In this game, and in every Soul Calibur game after it, they introduced this multi-stun system that makes it so that if you hit with a stun, there's this electricity effect. And if you hit with another stun, after that, it will chain into itself. So then you can get multi-hitting stun combos that exist in this game and every other Soul Calibur game that never really existed. So fundamentally, the gameplay goes more towards Tekken style, where you get multi-hitting guaranteed combos and wall combos too, right? How do you do wall combos in this game? Wall splat, see? These wall splat, that, that type of shit is guaranteed in this game. Not in Soul Calibur 2. In Soul Calibur 2, the wall acts as a barrier. So you can use it as a method of knowing what direction the opponent wants to go in. 
but you can't use it as a combo or damage tool like the way you do in Tekken. It's like an object. It's like a wall or a corner. But it's not like something that makes you gain access to wall splat moves that can yield heavy damage. But in this game, and in 4, and in 5, and probably 6, that's exactly what it is. The wall in itself is like something you can use to enhance your character's move list by creating launchers that didn't exist before and combos that didn't exist before. Naked Beekeeper. Thanks for the subscription. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what else about this game is worth mentioning. Poor Valdo. One one AA is super broken in this game too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. Sophie's one one AA. What the fuck were they thinking? No, that's not Sophie. You can't beat me. You can't. I'm expecting. Lizard Man is in this game, isn't he? Thank you. Doctor Philium. Thanks. Fight. Oh yeah, this. This move, oh my god, look how fast it is. The second hit. That is so stupid. What were they fucking smoking? The Nam Cops are out of their mind in this game. This move, the low itself is great. It's safe on block, it high crushes, and it's relatively hard to see. Reasonably hard to see. It's a good low, right? But in this game, the second hit, which exists in every game, takes about a third of the, the time to charge to unblockable. It's insane. It's insane. It's a mid. You cannot duck the second hit. Uh, first action, crouch, guard. It's a mid. You can't duck it. It also tracks. And you can't guard impact it because it's unblockable. This game doesn't let you do that. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's a mid. It's insanely cheap. It doesn't belong in the game. Keep in mind, you can do the fast one, too. So if you try to interrupt, you know, thinking, oh, you can't charge that shit, fast one's coming out. Remember, it rings out, too. Remember, if I'm cornering you here, if your back is to the wall, you're guessing between an unblockable mid that's going to ring you out or the fast one that's going to ring you out. It's insane, dude. What are you trying to do to me here? Right? This is a combo. What the fuck are you doing? If it backdash counters, it does a huge amount of damage. It's out of control. The character... Th th basically, this game... I mean, I the, the whole evening we've been having, uh, you know, all these different discussions about this game, but the long and the short of it is this game is trash. It sucks. On a competitive level, it's just an abomination. So you go from Soul Calibur 1, which was revered, one of the greatest fighting games ever. Then you go from that to Soul Calibur 2, which is even more loved. People really, really, really love that game. And then this game essentially was the beginning of what caused Soul Calibur to be the ugly but ugly stepchild you know weird basement dwelling smash player son of you know papa namco right that it is today weird community of people nobody agrees on what they want the whole community is all like broken into I like this game because of this, I like that game because of this, this, you know, just everyone's a bitch. The biggest reason why Tekken is cooler than Soul Calibur is because Tekken 
has maintained this overall feel, right? So everyone can agree, at least it feels like Tekken. But no one agrees in Soul Calibur because every game changes so much. So there, it, there really isn't even a Soul Calibur community. There's more like groups of people who like each game individually. It's not really like the Soul Calibur community, right? It's just like, oh, I like this game, I like that game. It's really like disjointed and nobody is working in harmony. Everyone is a bitch, basically. Everyone, more or less, you know? And that's what creates this new, like, you know, Soul Calibur 6 is coming out, right? So all these dormant Soul Calibur players are coming out of the woodworks and they got their own fucking wild, you know, harebrained idea on what they like and what they don't like. And their harebrained wild idea is just as harebrained and wild as mine. Sure, my harebrained idea has a couple of bald spots, but it's the same thing. I myself, I love Soul Calibur 2. I think Soul Calibur 2 is the like pinnacle greatest point in the series, and I can say here's why. Now the problem comes when when I say here's why, there are 3,500 people here listening to me. And a lot of them don't know shit, right? So they're like, all right, I like Eris. He knows shit. I don't know shit. I'm going to say that what he says, what he says about this game sounds right to me. That's what I think too. Fuck it. I agree with Eris. He's got a beard. He knows what he's talking about. I like Eris. I agree with Eris. But these other Soul Calibur players, when they talk about their harebrained scheme, there's like five people watching them. So they get outraged. They're like, this guy, Eris, is a fucking idiot. And now all these thousands of people agree with this idiot. And only five people agree with me and I'm pissed about it. Right? You know, there's nothing I could do about that. What I recommend is between the time of Soul Calibur 5 and Soul Calibur 6, you should have played a little bit of Resident Evil, maybe a little bit of Dark Souls, and sprinkle a little bit of Tekken in there, and maybe there would be someone there to watch. You know what I mean? I didn't want to sit around and wait for the next Soul Calibur to, to, to come by. So I thought I'd play something else. Pick up, I, 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 you know, I got my boat, right? I let the net out. And I'm dragging the net. And I'm picking up all these fucking barnacles. I'm picking up all these crawfish <laughs> in my you. net. And my boat is headed towards Soul Calibur's dock. When it gets there, I'm going to have all these weird fish, dolphins, I mean, all kinds of shit. I got them all. And I'm going to give them my history on Soul Calibur. You know what I mean? Sorry, but that's just the way it turned out. It's not my fault. I agree with Aris. You see what I'm saying? He's got a beard. I agree. Anyway, no big deal. That's kind of what happened with Tekken 7 anyway. More or less. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Oh man, I remember there was this time when die-hard Tekken Tag 2 fans were like cursing my name. Fuck you, Ares. Fuck you, you turned your back on the Tekken community because I didn't like Tekken Tag 2. You turned your back on the community. Fuck you. And now look, Tekken 7 comes out and it's like it's my fucking quinceanera. It's my bar mitzvah. It's like, you know, content creator of the year. Every nipple has someone sucking on it. It's, you know, I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just going to do what I enjoy doing. If you want to watch me, go ahead. And that's what I've done from the start. And that's what I'm going to do till the end. World Gem, Gubasaur, M. Hen, W. S. Kelly, Jurgi, Angurius. Hey, Jose. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? Thanks for the subs. Naked Beekeeper, Dr. Philium, Jose, 
Who did I miss? Gubasaur, World Gem, Dark Spaghetti, One Coin Man, and ZC. Thanks, guys. Thanks for liking my stream. That was a lot of barking at the clouds I did today. This game has so many redeeming qualities, and I'm sure the arcade edition of it was great. But the circumstances and the way this game didn't have an original arcade release to refine it the way all other Namco games do still. Well, I should say Tekken games do still. But hash. That really hurt the game a lot. Fuck you, fat fuck. Hey, thanks, Avi Double M. I appreciate it. It's been a long ass fucking stream. I think it's time for bed. How would you compare Virtua Fighter to Tekken? I wouldn't. But man, I would really love for them to uh, make a new Virtua Fighter. That would be great. That would be great. Anyway, chat room, I had enough for you. Just kidding, you guys are alright, but I'm exhausted. Too much yippity yapping about a game that I don't even really like. 